Hey everybody, this is Ben and welcome back to HackNet. I think we're nearing the end of this this journey together, this hacking journey. Uh, so we just got this email from V, Bit Foundation. Hey, so this is a bit orthodox, but I pulled some strings. You'll be the one that you'll be the one that did the Bit contract before, looking for what happened there. I'm after some more information. I wanted the same person on it. If you're getting this, it means you've just finished your assigned contract, so we're good to go. To be frank, the term pulling strings with CSEC isn't something you really use lightly, and in this case, it's even more so. You got results fast, and I want you on this case too. More collaboratively this time. If I sound confident, you'll you'll want to join in here. I have good reason for it. There's a very substantial incentive waiting for you on the CSEC asset server. Look for bin tk trace kill dot deck. Decrypt it with password dx one twenty two dx. Get a copy and reply me back. As always, the admins are paranoid about their security, so it'll be. Wait, the admins are paranoid about their security, so it'll be anonymously routed back through their system to me. Whatever. Just reply here when you're ready, and I'll let you know what's next. Trace kill. Yes. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Okay. However. So, CSEC asset server. Yeah, we got that there. All right, so I'm going to go grab this sucker because I definitely want the ability to kill traces. That's invaluable. That makes me super hacker. However, I'm not going to reply. I have been warned that I'm really going to get... There's like a, a bug or something in the, in the storyline that I need to do the Project Junebug contract before I accept this one. That there's some tool you get in the Junebug thing, in the Junebug contract, that without that, I'm not going to be able to progress. Which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. That seems like a huge bug that someone would definitely catch because, like me, I didn't do Junebug and I already got this. Whatever. So, let's go and grab um, log in uh, uh, file system. Okay, is it bin? Yeah, tk trace kill. Okay, scp trace kill dot deck. Very nice. Transfer complete. Very good. I didn't download that file. No, no, no. No one down. No one downloaded that file. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, add note dx one twenty two dx. Great. Let's go and it's probably here, right? Trace kill dot deck. Yes. Okay. So decipher trace kill dot deck with dx one twenty two dx. Come on, come on. Super slow decoding. Do -do 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 -do. Trace kill that exe. Okay, so um So I want to rename trace kill dot exe to Um, I believe I wanted to go to bin trace kill dot exe. No command rename. Oh god, what is it like rn? What's the command? Oh move. Move, that's it. Duh. I don't know why I'm trying to do Invalid path. Okay. Invalid path. Okay. So let's do... Oops. Not there. I want this to be in the right directory so I can use it correctly. Bin. Or no, sorry. You're in home. File not found. Okay. File not found. I don't understand. 
Invalid path. So, can I do like... Uh, what is it? That? Okay, I think I got it. Oh, God. Try skill dynasty. Okay, good. Oh, why will that not accept forward slash as root? Come on. Anyway. Got that to work. Good to know. All right, now we're going back to the contract hub. Contract listing. Okay. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do, hmm. You know what? I'm going to skip the death row entries. I'm going to go right to Project Junebug. An incredibly delicate situation has come up, requiring the involvement of a skilled, anonymous outside agent willing to be responsible for some questionable actions to greatly help an individual in need. Abort current contract to accept new ones. Oh, did I? No. What? I didn't accept this one. Are you kidding me? As soon as I get this email? All right, well, we're gonna... Mm. Doesn't make any sense. Just getting this email locks me into this contract? Okay, let's go back to the contract hub. Okay, hold on. Uh, abort current contract. Um, this cannot be reversed. What contract am I doing? That's what I want to know. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Our current contract. I'm not working on any of these. <laughs> okay, let's check my email really quick. Convincing application. Yeah. Okay. Contract successful. Great. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go abort the contract. Abort, abandon contract. Contract abandoned. You abandon your current contract and as such are no longer eligible to complete it. You are now free to accept further contracts from the contract database. Okay, fine. That's really strange. All right, contract listing. Okay, Project Junebug, there we go. I didn't accept the contract, so I don't know what they're talking about. Yes, thank you, jeez. Hacker. <laughs> this isn't a normal request and we're not going to treat it as such. We've been asked to perform a euthanization. Oh, wow. Obviously, we sent out a few others to dig up data on it and a few from outside groups so as not to raise suspicion some time ago and largely speaking, it's come back all clear. It seems the man in question, one Elliot Witt, is hospitalized in considerable pain and, against his wishes, has been denied the option of death. A failed attempt by his family earlier has prevented them from performing subsequent efforts until a member proposed this option. It seems the pacemaker he is fitted with allows remote access with proper authorization and with proper authorization, and they believe this may be an avenue to fulfill this request. Holy crap. Naturally, given the nature of this request, we can accept that you may not want to be involved. Reply with deny in your response, and we will remove you from the project. If you do decide to help us with this matter, you should know that it will likely take some amount of investigation and testing, given that as far as we know, this has never before been attempted. We recommend starting with the target's medical record, identifying the chip, looking for its manufacturers, and going from there. Oh, they want me to kill a guy! Are you kidding me? Ah. Okay, I thought I, I this is a different universal medical database, I guess. Oh, okay, this is a doozy also. Okay, so let's just Trace kill, great. What the hell, why don't I, I should try it out. So, trace kill. 
Oh, damn, that takes, like, all of the memory. Very interesting. It uses all of the memory, though. Good to know. Okay. So, oh, I, shoot, I also forgot... This is what I need shells for. I tell you, man. Hell, yes. <laughs> Okay. Dex solutions, no, we won't do that. All right. Okay. Do those four, four of them should be enough. I probably won't be able to stop a trace until, and there is no trace, of course not. Why would there be? I don't know. M something me me medical med medicate Great. Okay, I close these suckers out. I'll clear their logs up in a little while. Four ports. So, web on 80, SQL on 1433, P on 21, no, all right. Does that fit? Oh, that port is closed, okay. I, I wasn't even looking that closely. There's no SSH port available. <laughs> Come on, FTP. Thank you. Do, do, do. Excellent. A lot of logs in there. Okay. Um, lack of agreement in the alchemy regarding what should go into medical record. Okay, a safe choice is a SQL based relational database, but a small system will suffice if present and future medical record challenges are small enough. Yeah, all right. No big deal. <laughs> Why are there IRC logs about going out and getting drunk? Okay, medical. Okay, I might want to like go back to here. Oh, okay, that's exactly what I've been reading, yeah. All right, so search for patient name. It would be Elliot Witt. And search these overlapping buttons. Okay. Blood type BO, allergies none, one active. Heart rate regulation, you can keep what's the due to query. Recurring and critical arrhythmic problems in the patient's heart. They've been fitted with a pacemaker that can allow some fine tuning to account for unknown variables without invasive surgery references. Pacemaker connection ID. Why does it have an IP address? <laughs> oh my God. Extra details before taking any action that might disrupt the pacemaker or performing any invasive surgery, contact the manufacturers to confirm its stability. Okay, so we've got 202.6.141.219. And then also 66.96.147.84. Okay. Back to menu. Close those out. Okay. So, so what do I, uh, 
We recommend starting the target's medical record, identifying the chip, looking for its manufacturers and going from there. All right, so we want to identify the chip. Let's try to connect to this 66.96.147.84. All right. Wow, Kellis Biotech and you. Uh, original equipment manufacturer specializing in medical and cosmetic devices. Oh, wow. Kellis Biotech and you. Mission unavailable, user ID assigned to different faction. Do I get to become part of the Kellis Biotech faction or something? Very strange. There seems to be a mission available here. I'm using this server. Only displays content that relates to your registered active products. The address you use to access this server is important as it uniquely reflects your account details on our system. Don't lose it. All right, I don't like that. What the hell? I can't even read that. I can't read that either. <laughs> okay, remote tools. Cannot read. Too tiny. Um. Well, I don't want them to know who I am anyway, so screw you guys. I'm going to break in. Trace kill. Suppression active. Oh, so it suppresses it. It doesn't completely stop it. And now I can't reach. All right, I got to go change my settings. <laughs> um, so, yeah, actually, I, I shouldn't do that while I'm recording. So give me one moment. I'll be right back. This font's going to have to change. Sorry, guys.